Dr. Olivia, my name is Cram, and I'm the Director of Fitness, and thank you so much for joining me for today's Total Body Workout. During this workout, we're going to be able to utilize some exercises that you can do uh, no matter where you are. So if you're exercising at home, great. If you're out at the gym, they work perfect for that too. Or if you're working out outdoors, you can do these there as well. Now, during this exercise routine, it's always important to make sure that you listen to your body. This is your workout. So if you need to take some breaks, please feel free to do so. If you need to get some water, absolutely make sure you keep that water handy. And as usual, make sure that you are always thinking about what you want to kind of get out of your workout. So if I'm going too slow, you can always go faster than me or vice versa, you can slow it down. Now, if this is your first time doing a workout routine with one of our, with me or one of our other exercise programs, or if this is your first time exercising, always recommend that you always check with your physician first. Make sure it's okay for you to begin any type of exercise routine. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. Now, this workout I'm going to show you today, like I mentioned, is going to work total body. So we're going to do some upper body exercises, some exercises that work the legs, as well as the stomach area. And I'm going to show you some exercises that you can do using a resistance band. A resistance band is a really great tool that you can take with you anywhere. Now, if you've joined me for exercises before, or one of my other members of my fitness squad, we've probably incorporated resistance bands into your routine um, a couple of other times. And it's really a good thing to do if you are someone who travels or either you're someone working out at home or outdoors and you want to have a piece of equipment that you can really just kind of pack away and store easily and just bring it with you. Also, the great thing about resistance bands is uh, depending on what level of resistance that you want to use, they come in different colors to sort of signify for you where the resistance level is. So depending on which bands you go with, uh, there's typically always a color chart to indicate where you are. Are you going to be doing something that has more light intensity or something that's going to be a more heavier intensity? So they give you some various uh, different colors to represent what level of resistance you're going to get. So I'm going to show you some really great exercises that I personally like to do uh, when I'm doing bands. And also another thing that I like about using them is, like I said, if you're someone who travels, if you're on the go, you're someone who travels with work or you travel personally because maybe you're traveling more these days, but you want to keep your workout routine going. You don't want to stop. You want to keep moving. Uh, bands are amazing for packing with you and taking them on a go, putting them in your travel bag. They work perfect. So let's go ahead and jump on in. If you don't have these, that's okay. I'm going to show the exercise that we're going to go over today. You can actually use with no, uh, any type of equipment at all. You can use with your own body weight, and you can absolutely incorporate dumbbells if you have them, cans if you have them. Don't worry. You can absolutely be able to integrate uh, different types of pieces of equipment or no equipment into this routine. Okay, so let's jump on in. Before we get started, it's always important that you kind of get your body warmed up, uh, stretching, uh, whether it's like, uh, you know, you have a specific stretch routine you like to do or there's a specific way you warm up. Either way, you got to get the body going. So let's do that a little bit. I'm going to start by rolling my shoulders. Kind of gets me mentally prepared too for my workout along with getting my body ready, right? So that's the whole idea. So just rolling my shoulders nice and easy. There we go. And I'm going to go the opposite direction. Got to go both ways. A really good way to kind of loosen up these shoulders right here and now I'm going to go ahead and take my arms up and down just getting them ready this is also a really good way to take some inhales and exhales right so if you're looking for a really good way to warm up you can do these right here or you can recover inhales and exhales perfect one more all right now I'm going to twist from side to side a really good stretch move I like to do to kind of get my lower back ready to go a little bit. My lower back ready, my core muscles ready here in the stomach area. I'm just going to twist from side to side. And I'm going to rotate. You see my knees as well, so they can kind of come with me a little bit side to side. Perfect. All right, now I'm going to take this arm, bring it towards my chest. This is opening the back of my arm here as well as my shoulder. And my stretches, I want to be easy with them. I always recommend don't pull, overdo it, right? Don't strain into that stretch. Kind of be nice and gentle to those joints. Uh, this is meant 
to feel good, but of course, uh, not overdoing it is always important for you too. And let's do the next side. Good. Kind of get that shoulder. You know, if you've got tight shoulders, this is one that I feel like is really, really helpful to do. Perfect. Now I'm going to go overhead. I'm going to go behind my head here just to kind of show you from this range. Touch, touch my chin towards my chest. Now mobility is different for everybody, right? It's different. So if you find that maybe grabbing the hold of your elbow is tough, then don't overdo it. Maybe you can just start from here. And I'm grabbing my elbow. And just so you can see the full view of that, I'm going to come down on my knees. You can definitely stay on your, toes, your feet though. And just kind of opening this area right here. Here we go. Now I'm going to switch to the other side. Same thing. Really good for that back of that arm and that shoulder. It tends to get pretty tight. Perfect. So now since I'm down here, I'm going to do some stretches on the floor. Might as well. I'm already down this way. I'm just going to cross that foot right here. And I'm going to reach down and touch that toe. I'm aiming for my toe. If I can't get there, that's all right. Again, that's what I'm just trying to shoot for. This is going to stretch the inner part of my thigh. And I'm leaning. I might even get some stretch in the upper body. Now, got to switch it. Let's go to the next side. Same thing. This knee is bent. You can put that toe. Gotta get your stretch again. And stretching is a great thing to do after you work out too. Okay, so not just before. Um, it's a great thing to do during and after your workout. All right, now feet are together. And just so you can kind of see what that looks like. Feet are together here. Reach down. And again, I'm aiming for my toes. This is going to be a really good stretch for the back of my thighs as well as my back. Now I'm just reaching. And breathing. Taking it in. Alright, let's get started. Now, since we are down here, we're going to start our workout now. Might as well. So, I'm going to take my band. The first part of the muscle, the first muscles we're going to work are going to be the back and the shoulders. Now, depending on if you've never used resistance bands before, it's important to choose. Uh, and you start out with the uh, whatever color represents the lighter resistance, okay? And again, like I said, different brands have different color, have a different color coding to, to really differentiate the resistance. So just start out nice and light if you're not used to it. I'm gonna wrap my band around my feet there, right around the inset, right in the middle of the foot. And I'm going to sit up nice and tall. I want to really, really good posture here. I'm going to grow. Basically, I'm pulling here. And I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together. And then what I want to do is I'm going to come up as well and go just like this. So I'm here. Here. Rowing. Up. And that's just rotating my shoulder. Up. Two, 
Give me one more, one more. Pull it and roll it. Good job. Oh yeah, I like that one, like I said, because not only are you getting that between those shoulder blades, you're getting that back, but you get those rear part of those shoulders in there. So there's different muscle groups that we're handling at once. Excellent, okay. Now, the next exercise we're gonna do, we're gonna work something. We're gonna do an exercise that works the legs, okay? So, now this band here is a resistance loop. Um, sometimes you can get, get the bands and the loops, depending on the brand, um, in one package. Sometimes you have to order them separately, but the loops, again, great for being able to ball up, take with you anywhere, um, but they hook in uh, the same uh, rule applies, the color represents the level of resistance, okay? So we're going to utilize this for our leg exercise right now. And I'm going to put this around my ankles. That's where I want to, where I want to go. There we go, perfect. We're going to stand on up. And we're going to do a squat with a side step. So what this is going to work for me, is I'm going to get this in the front of my thighs, I'm going to get it here as well as in the rear end. So one thing I like about this exercise is it's going to work with a lot of different types of groups in my legs. So what I want to start with is my feet are going to be close together. And you don't want to lean for this one, just a little bit. Okay, we're not going to take a full, we're not going to go for a walk with this, but you do want to make sure you have some adequate room to be able to do this one here. So you can put your hands wherever you want, here, here, up to you, wherever you're comfortable. I'm more of a right front kind of girl. All right, so I'm gonna step, and I'm stepping with my toe pointed forward, but I'm using this when I step. I don't wanna have my toe pointed this way. It's not a bad thing, it's just that that's not the area I wanna focus on when I step. So I'm gonna step, and then at that point, I'm going to squat. Same rules apply to the squat. I would think about rear end going back, stomach and back straight, okay? So I'm squatting down, I'm gonna step back, then I'm gonna go the other way. Step, squat, back the other way. Step, squat, You're, you got it, you got it. Now you're picking up, picking up what I'm landing on. All right, so I'm squatting, I'm stepping, and I'm squatting, and I'm stepping. Now if I wanted to make this even harder, I could absolutely hold some dumbbells or some other resistance up top. Okay, so you can involve your upper body with this one if you wanted to. Step and squat. Step and squat. You got it. Step and squat. Step and squat. Now, if you didn't have the band, you could do this exact same routine. The difference is, is you're not going to get as much right here because the band is what's providing me some resistance between these muscles here, okay? So without the band, same movement applies. Same movement applies. Keep it up. Let's do a few more. A few more. Remember to breathe. Don't hold your breath. Very important, my back is straight, my stomach is tight. When it comes to that squat, think about you're gonna sit down, right? I wanna make sure my knees are not going beyond my toes. Some important rules of the squat. Never changes. There we go. Let's do five. It looks good. Come on. Keep it going. Nice job here. Back the other way. Come on, let's do two. Finish up. Good. Let's do one more. We can do that one more. We can do that one more. And other side, let's go. And up, very good, good. So as I mentioned, depending on the color, uh, will signify the resistance. So you can make this as tough or as easy as you want to make it. So it's really, really up to you. That's one of the things that I like about the resistance bands or the resistance loops because they really do a great job with that. So let's take it back down. Take it back down. Okay, next thing we're gonna do 
is a reverse curl. And reverse curls are really a good exercise to do for the front of the arms. So, what we're going to do, have it right back around our feet, like we did last time, right in the center, ideally. And what I want to do is I'm going to have my arms elbows at my side as much as I can. I still have that good posture, so it's really important to do that. And I'm going to curl here. Now, even though I have good posture, my, my, I'm not sitting all the way up like I was before. I'm kind of leaning back, but my stomach is tight, okay? So I'm going to curl here. So that's the difference maker. So similar to when we did the rotation of the shoulder, except we aren't going as far up as we did, so we're not putting that pressure on the shoulder. This is all for the front of the arms. There we go. Good. And if you've never done a reverse curl before, um, you may want to start a little bit lighter than you normally would because this is a little bit of a different feeling on the wrist and the core than a traditional curl would be. Okay, so just as a little, little tip on that. Elbows tight to the body as much as I can. And I'm squeezing. Squeeze. Squeeze. There we go. And I'm squeezing my front of my arms because I want them to work. And you want yours to work too, so keep it going. Good. Let's do a few more. They're starting to burn. That's a good thing. Work them for me. Five, four, three, two, one more, one more. Nice. Very good. You got that there, right? Right there. I definitely felt it there too. So that's really good. And with the verb, one thing I like is you do get some forearm work. So sometimes we don't think we should work our forearms and we utilize them a lot when we do movements in general. But it's really good to make sure that these have some strength to them too, as well as your wrist. So this is a, uh, the reverse curls are a really good way to kind of incorporate that a little bit more. Okay, so the next exercise we're going to do is we're going to work the belly. Okay, now we had a little tension on the stomach just a moment ago, but now we're really going to work it. So with this one, you're going to want to have some resistance with you if you have it, like a dumbbell or a plate. A book works good, okay, if you don't have any um, specific equipment, weight equipment at home, so a book is great. Just something that you feel stable with. So, I'm going to try a dumbbell. Now, it's really important when we do this that you position something on your legs because we're going to have this up there that you feel is not going to fall off and do you any harm. Really important, okay? So you're gonna have those arms close to your feet or legs at about a 90 degree angle. My toes are pointed up nice and tight. And I'm gonna just do a crunch. But what this is doing in having my legs here is it really makes me to focus on the back of my thighs. So I have to keep it stable, but also I'm gonna have to really focus on my core. So I like having this weighted down crunch, so to speak. Up and down. Good. Now squeezing my belly tight. Now you can support your head if you feel like, okay, having my head unsupported is difficult for me. You can do, definitely make this adjustment here. You can have your hands in front if you want to do that. Either way, it works well. The key is to keep those legs right where they're at. Right, right where they are. Good. Belly tight. Belly tight. Keep it going. I'm up and down. Notice my legs should still be pretty stable. That's what I want. Up and down. Good. Pull that belly button to the floor for me. Through the floor. Let's do about eight more. Seven. Six, five, four, 
three, two, hit that last one for me, hit it, pull it in, pull it in, there we go, good, all right, having that little extra resistance, how to keep your legs stable, um, it's a really good way to keep those legs balanced back there in the back of the thigh, and it helps you really focus on that core. You really, it's difficult to sort of let your legs help you cheat, and your hips help you cheat, if you're holding something up. There we have it. Okay, so, now, the next exercise we're gonna do is gonna work back in the chest area, as well as the, the back of the arms, okay? So, we go back to the band, and I'm gonna put this underneath my legs. Perfect. Okay, let's switch that. Let's switch that. All right, let's 
Okay, just same thing. Let's do it. Up and out. Up and out. Now I want to try to challenge myself to keep my toe up. Okay? Because I want it up right here. And that's where I'm going to get it more if my toe is pointing up. Up and out. Up and out. Perfect. We can do it. Come on, let's do six. Five. Four. Three. Keep the leg up. Two. Keep the leg up. One more, one more. Fantastic. Woo! Oh yeah, front of the thigh. Especially in getting that. Also, right here. Absolutely getting that. I love that one. Love this thing. You know, it's like a love hate thing, but I love it. Okay, now the next exercise I'm gonna do is we're gonna focus primarily on the back of the arms, okay? So we're gonna be on our knees for this one. And I'm gonna take my arm and I'm gonna bring it up here, just like so. I'm gonna bring my hand behind my head and I'm extending right there. Up and down. There we go. And the reason why I'm keeping my hand here is it just gives me a little bit more of your shirts to make sure I'm keeping my arm connected to my head. But you do not have to keep it there. But I'm a fan of doing that because it takes away me keeping it. There we go. Up and down. Up and down. There you got it. Let's do six more here. Five more here. Four. Three. Two more. One more, one more. Great. Okay, let's get to the other side. Come on, let's hit that. Let's get that done. Same thing. Over here. My back is straight, my stomach is tight, and I'm ready to work. I'm ready to work. You're ready to work. Come on. Up and down. Up and down. And that's getting all of that back of the arm. So if that's an area that you really like to target, I like this is a really good exercise for it. Let's do them. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, give me two, give me my one, nice, very good, very good. One thing I like about that, just to give you a variation, is that exercise can actually be done with dumbbell, with can, and you can do it with two arms too. So let's just say, for instance, you're like, okay, I like that one, but I want to kind of do it with both arms. Very similar, if you go upright, go here, right? So you can absolutely kind of get both of those arms going at one time if you wanted to, okay? So that's a, a, another great thing about the versatility of that specific exercise as well as using the band. Okay, so last thing, let's work the midsection a little bit more. We're going to lean back here. And we are going to kind of do a toe touch right there. I'm leaning, touching my toe. Leaning, touching my toe. There we go. And my stomach is tight. Tight belly. There we go. Reaching, reaching. And I'm also reaching from the outside of my foot. Outside. Give that midsection side in there. A little bit too. Come on. We're in there. Reaching. Breathing. Fantastic. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Nice. Excellent work, Lydia. Excellent work. Yes, nothing like getting a workout 
done, whether you're joining me for the beginning of your day, middle of your day, or if you're ending your day with activity, there's nothing like kind of just getting it done. So fantastic job. The key is no matter what, it's just to get up and move, get that body going. So if you have any questions about the exercises that I showed you, or any of the exercises you see on our Get Up and Move series, email me, uh, fitness at Lydia.com. We're always here to answer your questions. We love hearing from you. Just remember, this is your workout routine, your body. You're doing fantastic. Keep going. And I can't wait to see you for our next exercise video.